Hello folks and welcome to High Falls State Park in Georgia. It's located near Macon, Georgia and it's a beautiful park with all sorts of good things. It's got a nice little lake and a dam and they rent practically everything you could paddle. The lake does not allow motors so they have canoes and kayaks and paddle boards and surfboards and um, paddle wheel boats and they have some fishing docks and stuff like that. This is a full service state park and it's a uh, very old see this wall in the front um, that was the waterway to carry water from the pond to the uh, power station. They had an electrical power station. This must have been the original sluice gates down to the uh, power station and you can see that one's rock and one's concrete. They must have updated them or added to them or something. But um, pretty cool. They don't use that power station anymore which is too bad. In 1897, Colonel J.D. Boyd said they could put a power station here that could light every city within 50 miles. Using a 650-acre lake, 1,800-horsepower turbines, they generated 1,700 kilowatts of electricity. In 1905, the power station started generating electricity, and it closed in 1958. The land was originally transferred to the Fish and Game, and then it was transferred to the State Park. The park seems to be undergoing some renovation for some of their facilities. It's um, in good shape. It's got this nice uh, bridge out over the, the water that you can walk out on and look down into the river. I think when we were there, it must have been after a lot of rain. We did have a couple of days of rain the week before. There's a pool on the other side um, from the boating and stuff. And this uh, up on the mound there is a putt-putt golf course. And that's a little shack you get your putter from. Real nice playground. playground. And all of those things are right side of what they call the lake camping ground. Which is, we'll have a little tour here. It's uh, a big loop. And we're looking at the inside of the loop. And these sites are fairly nicely spaced. I really like this campground. Um, the only problem with it is that um, it's the south, and they have these great big tall loblolly pines, and you can see through the whole campground. There's no brush or anything separating the campgrounds that uh, campsites that make it any privacy or anything. But these are pretty nicely spaced. Um, there's two hosts. This is the one host that's right across from me. And then, um, you know, some of these are very nicely spaced apart, like that one's all by itself. Um, there's nothing from that to the corner. This is below him, though, so he does have a neighbor behind him. Um, that's always my issue with being on the inside of a loop, is you have people behind you, which is not so bad. And uh, But you can see... Um, some of these sites are for tents only. Some of them are for uh, big motor homes. That's the bathroom. And yes, we'll go inside and look at that. The bathroom was immaculate, although it was very old. I mean, it was uh, dated in the materials they used to make it. But it was a really nice bathroom. This is the outside of the loop now. No. And the sites start with number 100 on the lakeside campsites. Um, these first two are a little closer than most of the other ones, but um, most of them are quite far apart, as you can see, between these two sites. And then the um, next site is uh, my friend who met me down here, or up here for him. He's from Florida, and I really want to buy his camper, but I don't think he's ready to sell it. Actually, it's a Six, it's a 21 foot, and I want a 16 of the same thing a camp light, uh, live in light, all aluminum camper. It's a pretty nice camper, but um, he had a dog, a boxer, and I had a dog, and they played together between the campsites and in our site. There's my little buddy way back there, and we had a huge area next to our trailer. And here you can see this is our site, and uh, this is 107. 
And the pollen was coming out of these trees. I couldn't keep it off the lens. I kept brushing and cleaning, and it wouldn't do anything. But we could throw the ball way down that yard, and it was pretty nice. So we loved this campsite um, by luck. Went all the way down to here, and then the next campsite along there is number 109, I believe. But um, you can see the spacing on the um, sites. You can see these. These are pretty nice. My favorite campsite is probably this one coming up. Look at where this is. It's so spaced from everybody else. It's 111, and that's really nice. I mean, um, you're close to the water and everything, but and then you're next to the yurts. There's, uh, I think, four or five yurts. They're numbered one, two, and three, and yurts are 100 bucks. <laughs> And they're just a tent. I mean, they're a tent with a wooden wall inside that holds them up, but they do have a deck. Now let's go into the bathrooms. And um, the bathhouse looks brand new. I think it has a new roof on it. And it has a nice uh, table out here to fold clothes because it has a laundry, which is pretty nice. It's a dryer for 25 cents, I think, for seven minutes. And the washer is $1.75 for whatever it takes to wash, but it's a big washer. I've never seen a drinking fountain, but I guess this is where they keep the heat on if it's uh, freezing outside. But the bathroom, these walls are like these vinyl sheets of plywood or whatever they are. Um, it has two showers, two toilets, two urinals in the men's, probably three in the three uh, things. But it's a very narrow shower, but it was plenty big enough. The only problem was there was no place to hang anything. Like you could put your clothes on the little bench, but that's it. This is the road to the Riverside Campground, and this was a much larger campground and much, much more crowded. Um, you come down this very steep hill, and if you went left, you'd go to the power station, which we already saw. Or you go this way, and um, you meet this fence that's locked, and you have to have the little key code. I did have the key code, so we drove right in. But these are uh, pretty small camp sites and they're pretty clumped together <laughs> um, the road is very narrow and very windy and the camp sites are pretty s next to each other I mean they have some spots between some of them but usually you're right next to somebody on one side and uh, this one was all by himself and he I think he was a camp host but I'm not positive up on top um, this is a, like a horseshoe loop. It just goes out and back, and in the center of the loop is just drive-throughs for big rigs. And But you can see how close these all are. Um, they're all electric, all electric and water. Um, but look at this. It's not my type of campground. We I was so glad we picked the sites that we picked because they were pretty nice. And um, I don't know what's in the shower house up here. We didn't bother to stop. Um, but this was uh, lots of big rigs and lots of kids riding bikes, running around. Um, but it's, you know, that's camping for some people. They just want to go and sit around a campfire and and cook meals over a fire outdoors and enjoy the fresh air. So I don't I don't hold that against anybody, but it's just, it's just not for me. But I think you get the picture of this... Um, what the riverside campground is like it's not uh it's the same price as what we paid it's uh quite a ways from the attractions of the lake and the pool and some of that stuff most of the hiking trails are off the waterfalls well folks we are on a lake and the wind is blowing about 30 to 35 miles an hour And the A-liner is having a little bit of trouble with that. I had these front vents open because it's hot. It's not really hot, but it gets hot in there. And uh, <laughs> it, uh, I guess it pressurized the A-liner because the windows weren't open. And it uh, raised up the roofs. But it did keep it together. I mean, it didn't blow away or anything it fell back down but uh scared the life out of me and Aquila who were sitting inside but the a-liner is a pretty good little unit but 
You might want to notice the wind is coming from kind of like this side and it was those vents were open on top and it picked the roof right up. So something to think about when there's wind. Close the thing up and make it tight. On my new uh, campground review score sheet, um, the lakeside campground gets a pretty good score. Uh, length of sites, overall size, levelness, all real good. Cell service was uh, marginal, but it was there. Bathrooms were great. Uh, cleanliness is fantastic. Laundry room, uh, shower size was good. Everything was good. Lots of kids stuff. They did have senior discounts. Uh, it was a pretty nice uh, campground. Why does he always take me on these? Challenging trips. Go on up. First there were stairs, then there were rocks. Lots of beautiful new spring plants, some salmon seal, some bloodroot. Flowers haven't come out yet, but the plants have. This way. Come on. 